All right, so, so I was just going to include this footage with the next cutting video, but I, just, I decided to uh, kind of make a dedicated video on this. So I changed my plans up a little bit. But this is the Super XL Auto that we've been testing the aftermarket reed cage on. And we ended up with some issues. And I just I just want to kind of point out some things that maybe we can learn from this. All right. Uh, so I'm going to show you a clip of the first time I made an attempt with this saw. All righty. <laughs> Sided lean, right? So this clip is a comment that I made after running it. All right. Hey, uh, the high speed circuit's not running enough fuel, not a high enough volume. But it's not running enough fuel. I can't get it to go rich enough. So we're gonna have to put that on the back burner. But it does run. I can tell it's smoother. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, it just it feels smoother. But uh, I'm not pulling enough fuel. All right, so I made a little bit of a few changes to the saw. I adjusted the uh, metering lever. And I made another attempt. So the thing I want to point out here is... Listen to the way the saw is idling right now. All right. All right. So did you get that? Now, after I made a few cuts... I want you to listen to the way the saw is idling. So did you notice how I hesitated before shutting it off? Uh, because I, I kind of noticed something. And then I made a comment a little later in a video. Uh, let me show you that comment. So that's lean. I can't get it to pull enough fuel at all. But it's, it's a little lean can't get it to four stroke on when I lift so maybe we got a carb issue I don't know we'll have to uh, tear into the carburetor and see what we find out all right so now I'm gonna cut you in to the work that I've done after all of that and Maybe we can learn something from this. All right. So this is the work that I've done after all of those little clips. All righty. Uh, I hope you enjoy this because it's definitely something I think we can all learn from. All righty. Thanks. All right. So here's the carburetor. We're going to pop that sucker out and give it a good examination. All righty. 
So here's our carb. It's a Tillotson HS142A, and that is correct for the Super XL Auto. So let's tear into this. Just, just to make sure, we'll pull it apart on this end just to see if there's anything restricting fuel flow. You know, we can take a look at the screen and so forth. Let's see if there's anything in there, in there restricting fuel flow. All right, so there's the carb. And we do have some debris in the screen. So we gotta clean that out, but you notice anything else? Um, let me point it out to you. Let me get the zoom back out. So you see how this end looks nice and clean and this end doesn't? It's all kind of dirty. Let me show you the gasket. There's our gasket. See how we're wet all the way to the edges? I think our gasket here is leaking. Sucking air. I bet you this sucker's sucking air right into the carburetor through this gasket. I'm willing to bet. Let me show you another one just, uh, just so we can compare. So let me show you another one. So this is one of the Zama carburetors. You see the sawdust there? We got some dirt in here. Definitely suck some dirt up. Let me pull that off and check the bottom side. All right, so that's how the gasket should look. See, it shouldn't be wetter all around the edges. See how this one's wet all around the edges? And I actually was looking and camera's not picking up on it but that's actually wet down there it was leaking fuel right inside there camera doesn't really show it but it's it's wet in there so it looks like an air leak in the carburetor itself but I want to point something out here one of the issues I've been having is the fuel line. You know, it's one of these tiny ones, but the fuel inlet port on this carburetor is a big old fat sucker. So let me see if I can figure something out here. Maybe put a different fuel inlet port on it. Let me see what I got laying around. Let's see if I can sort something out. All right, so I don't have any way of replacing the inlet port to get a better fit. And I don't have any replacement gaspets on hand at the moment. But here's what I do have. I have this Zama that has the correct size inlet port. And I have a kit for it. So that's the route I'm gonna go, just because that's what I have on hand. A lot of people don't like these carbs, but I think they work just fine when they're running. It's whenever you have issues that they can get a little finicky. But I have no problem using this carb. We're gonna go for it. It's missing a spring here. I had stole it for another one. I'll just have to steal it back from another carburetor and get it working again. So we're just gonna put this kit in this carburetor, install it, and see how she goes. Alrighty. All right, so it's installed, all done. Um, it's just, it's a better fit than the other one. I didn't have any trouble with the, uh, the jets coming out the holes this time, and now they're nice and, you know, they look normal. Before they were protruding. Uh, the fuel line hooks up nice like it should. I just, I feel like this saw was supposed to have this carburetor. Um, now I did not put the whole kit in. I just replaced the diaphragms. I didn't change all the little tiny parts. They will be spare parts. You know, if I end up having an, an additional problem, I will look at putting them in, but 
for right now, they will just be spare parts. This carburetor actually came out of a running saw. Uh, I just, you know, the, the saw had uh, scoring in the piston, carbon scoring. So whenever I pulled that saw apart, you know, but it was a good runner. So this was running whenever it was pulled out. And so I just replaced the, the gaskets is all I did. They were getting a little stiff. They weren't hard yet. They were just a tiny bit stiff. So that's what I did. I still have the aftermarket reed cage put in there. I did not change that out. So we are testing it with the aftermarket reed cage. If that fails, we still have factory parts. So there we go. So what do you think? I think we uh, discovered our little issue. It's possible. Uh, but I, I, I just I, I just kind of changed my plans. You know, I was going to add this into the beginning of the next cutting video, but I thought this would be a good one for its own separate video. So I kind of chopped together a bunch of little clips, and uh, what you see is what we get. But uh, I thought we could learn from it, and I hope you enjoyed this little adventure on this one. But uh, tell me if you think we might have solved our little problem. All right. Till the next one. Thanks.